Okay, made it, no problem. That's where I felt last time. Ah! Ah! Go up. No problem. Made it. Hey guys, today we're going to do a comparison between the standard Levo and the Levo SL. But what we're going to do is we're going to go out and we're going to climb both these bikes. I'm going to pick out a couple steep technical uphill climbs and we're going to compare these two bikes. Now as you know, the standard Levo here has a bigger motor. The Levo SL on this side has a smaller motor. So that's the biggest difference here and that's what we're going to be comparing today. Now, other than that, these bikes are fairly similar. We've got almost the same suspension. This one has a 38 up front, that one has a 36. Basically the same thing, they both have the same tune. And they both have the Float X2 rear shock. The geometry of these two bikes is basically the same. This one's the new Gen 3, so it's a little different. But um, again, what we're comparing here is the motors on both of these bikes. We're gonna find out is this one that much better or is this one better? Can you do all the steep technical climbs on the SL that you can on the standard bike? So a couple more things to note here before we get started. The um, drivetrain on both these bikes is exactly the same. We got the SRAM Axis Eagle, electronic shifting, 12 speed, same thing on both bikes. There's no difference in the gears. The cog up on the front of the SL is slightly different it's a little bit smaller but that's just what comes on the sl stock out of the box to compensate for slightly less power in the motor um, other than that we have the same brakes we have the same bars same stem same seat post same seat and same tires the tires on the levo are two six and the tires on the sl are two three again that's how it comes out of the box with specialized so this is a good, oh, we have the same pedals on both bikes. <laughs> so this is a good comparison between the two. One more thing I'm forgetting. Standard on the SL is uh, 170 millimeter cranks and on the new Gen 3 Levo on the S-Works one, they're 165. So slightly shorter cranks. But again, that's just compensating for less power on this bike. So enough of that. Let's get to it. We're going to take both of them out. We're going to do the same climbs and we're going to see which bike makes it to the top better. We are headed up. We're on the SL here. This is my, my filmer helper right here, Kevin. He's helping us out today. And he's, he's recording, but he's got his <laughs> protection on. So here, we're at the bottom of the first climb. I'm on the Levo SL. And for all these videos, we're just gonna be in turbo. We're gonna be in full power for everything. So this is pretty steep and really loose, but a technical rocky uphill is no problem. You can kind of tell when it's like peak power or peak, I guess, strain. The SL motor sort of dies off. It doesn't have quite the, the uh, torque to get you over, but we made that one. That was no problem. <laughs> Made it! Back down to get the other bike. <laughs> so over this one, we're going to be on standard Levo. Big power bike. Okay, Kevin, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter? You out of breath? Nope. Not at all, buddy. <laughs> okay. This one's going to be no problem. That one made it in turbo. But I can already tell, I mean, my speed is like two or three times as fast. I'm just dropping gears. And you can tell it has more just grunt power to get you over the hard parts. Anyways, that was nothing. You be stealing that water? That's mine. This is my bike. <laughs> 
Okay, so Kevin found this little line over here. We've never seen this on our trail, but it's this little tight, technical, loose uphill. Let me see if we can make it. Try it on the SL first. Okay, here we go. I've never been up this, so I don't know what I'm in for. Oh! Okay, we made it. Let's see how far. Whoa! It's tight. Oh man, it's loose! Ah, oh, that was it. Okay, SL, down. Oh, you're gonna try on this now? Yeah. I'm excited. Let's see if we can make it. This is a loose trail. On the Levo. Whoa, this bike has too much power. I'm going down. Medium power now. Okay, back up, turbo. Ah, oh, it's like too fast. Uh-oh. Okay, made it, no problem. That's where I fell last time. Here we go. Ah! Oh. Ah! 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 So soft right here. All right, course walk complete. First, we're gonna start with the SL. Uh, Levo SL. This is a pretty rocky, steep, technical uphill here. So again, we're in turbo, lowest gear. That's a big jump. Okay, I barely made that. Whoa, barely made that. Okay, we made it. That was cool. This is soft. So this is the steep part coming up here. Let's see. Oh, shit. no way. <laughs> okay, that did not work. This is pretty steep though. Okay, so we're gonna put this bike right here. It's as far as we made it. So now we're gonna try this bike. Chick fil A. I think we're deserving. Turbo mode. Same climb. This thing goes up like it's nothing. Super easy. Goes through the soft stuff a little better. Okay, this is that hard climb. We're gonna downshift, go up. No problem. Made it. There we go. SL defeated. Levo charging. We're still going. All right, we're gonna stop there. That was it. Okay, back with the SL. We gotta get this bike up. Can't make it, so we're climbing. There we go. Okay, so. We're gonna finish out this run on the SL. Yeah, pretty rough. And not only the rest of this, but I think I can make it on the SL. The SL is a really good climber. It just doesn't have quite the torque as a normal bike, but it can make it up almost everything. Okay. This is the gnarly part. Here we go. Whoa. Yep, did it. Oh, almost. <sighs> Yet again, bike switch. See what this does. All right, run one, Lebo. The shorter cranks on this bike too. Give it better clearance for rocks. Okay. Pretty gassed. Yep, no problem. I even took a bad line on that. Bad choice. Made it!
So we're gonna go up this section right here. This section is pretty steep, rough, rocky, um, but I think I can make it on this bike. So we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. All right. Okay, clip in. All right. There it is. All right. Read it. All right, so here we are. We made it to the top with both bikes. Um, <clears throat> this is pretty cool because this is a trail that I've ridden for years and uh, in the past, there's no way you've been able to ride your bike up to the top of this thing. So the difference between the two is, as you can see, there's two spots on this trail that the SL did not make it up. There's just no way it was gonna make it. But <clears throat> the Levo here made it no problem. So this bike made it bottom to top, made everything on the trail, just did it first try. So it's pretty cool. If you know this trail, um, some of you might recognize it. It's pretty incredible to be able to make it from the bottom to the top, um, like climbing up on a bike. It's awesome. So a couple of things that I did notice while taking both these bikes up is the SL is, it's really light and it's uh, very nimble on the climb. So when you're going up some loose, tight technical stuff and trying to make your way around rocks and stuff, and though there's less power, it's more nimble and you can navigate your way up better. Now, another thing is the terrain out here is very rocky and loose and sandy. It's kind of a, a sandstone rock covered with some sand on the top. So it's uh, <clears throat> very loose. So it kind of favors this bike with bigger power, bigger tires. It can kind of get the traction and make it over and make it through all the soft and loose stuff. But like I said, this one's nimble. It, this was able to kind of navigate its way through this, the sandstone stuff for the most part. Okay, so those are the differences between the two bikes. Uh, I hope this video helped and... Uh...